Hey guys, it's Bambi TV. Guys, they're going to be reacting with Jessica. Guys, they're going to be reacting to Holy Korean Experiment in New York City. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Kareem, from Are We Famous Now? You might have seen a video with two German guys walking around with a Bible disguised as a Quran. I thought it was a great idea, so I took it upon myself to try it in New York City and see how people would react. I have my Bible that is disguised as a Quran, as you can see. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to share it and also hit that like button if you'd like to see more. If evidence of virginity is not found in the young woman, then they shall bring out the young woman to the door of her father's house and have the men of the city stone her to death. Women should be kept silent in places of worship, for they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission. If a wife does not cover her head, then she should cut her hair short. And if there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home. Everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. Kind of harsh. Yeah, yeah that's like, really harsh. What? Whoa. <laughs> that's so f***ed up. I think that's bullshit. It oppresses women so much and it's not fair. It's mm. just so wow. graphic and unnecessary. What? Seems really outdated. Definitely an old thing that should have should be a, a relic, not a not still here today. Times change, people need to change with it, I think. Yeah. That's totally extreme. We don't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Husbands don't know much, you know. Women are like a dog or something like that. It creates this like image where like they're dogs and like, you know, they need permission to get out and do this. It's a little messed up. But first of all, it's none of my business. Uh -huh. It's not my religion. Uh -huh. So I have to respect what they believe. I mean, obviously we live in a different day and age than when this was written, but uh, I mean, that was you know the way it was back then. People grow, they progress, yeah. things change. Compared to the Bible, how is the Bible? The Bible is like, oh, the glory of God, everyone's equal, yeah. and everything. How do you think really... it compares to the Bible? Um, you, can, you can find a lot of texts in the Bible that like are just as extremely barbaric. Like, the Bible's violent. I don't think it matters what religious text it's coming from. I think that's probably stuff that you can find in the Bible or you could find in the Torah. Okay, so what if I told you this? That this is actually the Bible? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the Bible? Yeah. Wait, I never learned about that in church school. You never learned about that in church school. This is actually the Bible. Wow. Son of a gun. I would tell you though this is the Bible, actually. Have a nice day. What if I told you this is the Bible, not the Quran? Well, I haven't got time now. We gotta take off. <laughs> Alright, so what if I told you that this actually was the Bible? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Wow, right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so this is indeed the Bible. Oh. <laughs> so. This actually is the Bible. I thought so. <laughs> I read that Whoa, the that's part a good about one. the daughter, the. Well, it's not right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would believe it. That's really I would believe that yeah. as well, because yeah. there are very there are correlations between all religions. I wouldn't have expected that. Really? I was raised Catholic, so. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> this actually is the Bible. Oh, uh, okay, I see. <laughs> so, they're all the same. Now. Now, what if I told you that this is actually not the Quran, and it's the Bible? Oh. I would not be surprised at all. Yeah, I'm yeah. not surprised at all. Yeah, at all. I was yeah, like, the Quran true. does not say that about women. I'm Muslim, so I know really? that the differences between like the the Bible and the Quran, and very they're very cool. they're like 70 to 85 percent similar. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> salam. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> surprise. <Yeah. laughs> if how do we get to? Oh wait, 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 can I leave? Wait, can I leave? Wait, that's not the Quran. There's nothing wrong with Muslims. I don't know. Say with your right hand, you have to cut it off. Okay. Now, that's. I'm gonna follow that. It's just. I'm. Wait, that's a Bible. Christianity also says that gays should be stoned for being gay. I mean, and lots of people follow Christianity. So, it's like. Take it with a great assault, you know? Because what I understood was that you were saying, like, pro Trump from the beginning. You know, we're trying to show everyone that they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. But people like to pick and choose and, and bully Muslims for no reason. Yeah. Thank you for standing up for Muslims. I heard what you're trying to say. Because it's the right thing to do. We're all equal, and I don't like bad people, and I like good people. I don't care what religion or faith they believe in. I don't believe in those words, but I also don't believe that the people that have that religion all totally believe in that advocate of an action to take either. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm Jewish, and I and I eat pork. So what does that mean? You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I feel that the world is a big place and there's a lot of room for everybody to live and everybody should be left alone and leave each other alone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and share. And comment below. Guys, this was an amazing experience. <laughs> well, like, I have to clip, like, I'm a Christian, so I have to clear some things up. And when that guy said, the Bible said, you should stone keys, it's actually when the Bible actually said, people who practice those things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So, back to when he said, if your right hand is pushing you to sin, God, mm. or that. Jesus did not mean, okay, okay, now you want to say I want to explain it. But if you read that verse in context, you understand that. I don't feel you are supposed to read, just see John verses, John 1 verses 3 and just pick that. Okay, so you should read, read the whole chapter to get exactly saying, what he was like, trying to say, to get saying. the message. You don't know where it's coming from and where it's going to. So if you read that, you understand that Jesus is trying to tell you that. And wait, Jesus is trying to tell you that you can answer, if this is going to lead you to sin, you have to like cut you it off. You don't have to do it. It's like you removing temptation because you know when is the you sin and it won't take you to like things that we take away from God just don't do it. Like that's what he's trying to say if you read the passage clearly. And he actually said something about women are not permitted to speak in church or something like that. That I don't know. You have but... to ask your husband. <laughs> no, no, I don't feel. I don't feel that it's like you having to ask. I yeah, don't know. It was written. It was written. Yes. Never gone through that part before. <laughs> but that part, I I know there was a debate like this in my church one day when Emma was like, "Why was why did the Bible say women are not to speak in church?" And my pastor's answer was that he gave an answer, but he used this for instance because I am a church organization member, and he was like. Our general Vasya, she is a woman and she's she is a woman, so you can't say a woman is also a speech teacher when oh. our general Vasya is a woman. So you, you get the point. And he gave an explanation, but that's the one I picked out of it. And he said another thing, but I really can't recall. But yeah, that's all. And I thought this was an amazing experience. Like people knowing things about religion. I, to be honest, I will say this, I don't have issues, sure. I don't have issues with Muslim or anything like that, I feel religion is... And he, he also nice. mentioned that, um, um, you see, Muslims get bullied a lot and... Yes, that's true. I don't know, I don't see that. No, that's really. true, to be honest, that's true. If you're Muslim, people look at you like, they kind of stereotype you, look at you like, Nah, this boy is gonna blow here very soon. Like they look at you as a terrorist. Or, like okay, yeah, yeah, really I can't bad. take. Like, that okay, I can take that. It's bad. Bad. It's bad. Like to be honest, for if you see, like, I used to have that kind of ideology before. To be honest, not that I fear Muslims, but I don't really understand who they were. You know, I don't know what they stand for. Like I just know they worship Allah. That was the only thing I know. So me kind of reacting to stuff like this is kind of. Make me understand. It's making me understand religion pretty well. And I feel I can actually stand up for Muslim like this. Oh, like, I I really did stand up for a lot of Muslims. That was way back school time because I stayed with them. Like most of them were my friends, and I got to understand that they are not like based. You see, okay, fine. We are speaking about Nigeria and yeah, about Boko Haram and shit. Though they are Muslims, but if you really look into some things. Like, you see that, okay, part of what they do, the killing, the terrorism, they, like, I don't know, they try to put out their religion, their religion as to what they are doing. But, like, that doesn't define exactly yeah. what they are doing. It's like, tiny proportion of yeah. actually do that. But, guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.